Hello oh, YouTube fans, welcome to Peter News, a bit of ranting and a bit of things on the way. And I talked about politics because I got sick of talking about it and it's been getting me fucking down. But I decided to do just do a little bit, why not? Because this has fucking got me down. What's got me fucking down, people, is the fucking fact that your dotty sign is an at it again. But this is one that I'm going to fucking stick me on. And hopefully people might achieve with me or not achieve with me. So I'm going to do two different versions of this. Because there's two sides to this. And before I get love letters, got me every name under the sun. There's two sides of a different penny. Some would do, some don't would do. So I'm going to do two sides of the story. And they'll think, what the fuck are you on about? This is what I'm on about. You nutty scientists are now doing it that... They're going to do it where they break it down. So, so many people can't go to people's houses. We've got to keep our distance still. And they're going to try and break it so we can barely see all our mates. All our buddy buddies. Now I'm going to say it. Because it needs to be fucking said. Whatever happened to human fucking rights? Whatever happened to human rights? Human rights, and I hope you're fucking watching this. When you're defending scumbags and murderers and terrorism and every fucking low life under the sun, where's our fucking rights? Or are we just the little people? Because this used to be an independent country, people. It's not bad enough that your dotty scientists are dying to ram another lockdown down our fucking heads. No. They now want us to fucking keep our rays so we don't get to see people. So the three metre thing. That was what Boris Johnson was blabbing on about when it came to the few rules. But this is a bit what fucking stumbles my fucking brain. And I'm that happy in one way, because Boris Johnson, again, is using this. He's not using that on that. He's using that. What I mean by that is, there was a guy in Tameside, right? You know, Tate Manchester. You might have seen it on the news. And he stood his town. And I dilute this man. That is just how to do a deal to keep money for the people who are going to be out of work and he's trying to save the economy. Maybe he should. Maybe I should fucking fault for him. But at the end of the fucking day, he stood his fucking downed. And what he did was, he went and raved and he was near the town centre. And what he said was, parts of Jake Manchester, which not his eye, this is what I remember, I did walk, waffling on about, doesn't do a lockdown. Doesn't do one. If it's not sty eye, leave it the fuck alone. You hear that saying? If it's not broken, don't fix it. And the ones what are sty eye, fair the fuck enough. But make it fair on the economy. Pull out your money. Really, it should be your scientists. You're amazing scientists which should pull their money out. Because they keep blabbing on that, doing us a lockdown. Three, four shops have shut down, people. Not making it up. Look it up. You think I'm talking shit? Go to Tameside. Go in other town centres, Bob. I hope not, because it's die high. But there you go. There you fucking go, people. Now, he's supposed to be doing a meeting with Boris fucking Blumbling Donson. Hopefully it'll go well. Until some of your asshole scientists are trying to fob him off. But hopefully, this was a man, and I heard him, and you know what? That's a fucking fault for him. Because I heard them stand, and I knew what they were going to do. And I'll say it. What happened to human rights? What happened to people's fucking rights? You're fucking putting people out of work. You can't see your fucking buddy buddies. Yeah, I know, it's a virus. But you don't have to give people check it and do. Here's one for your scientists. When you do your research, do the research of how many suicides are going to be. Why not do that one, eh? Because I saw there'd be a lot. But, Danted, I hate scientists. I'll be honest, I fucking hate them with a passion. I hate them with a passion. And one day I'll tell you why I hate scientists with a passion. But the ones I will offend and the ones I will prey on are the ones who are going to fucking do the fat scene. There's two going on about the fat scene and they're going to be bringing it out before fucking Christmas. And I hope they do. Because that will be an ultimate Christmas presser. But people, if we get wet or get hard, you know what I am. I'm a realist. So I'm going to be realistic. The fat scene ain't gonna come over midnight. We all ain't gonna some doctor do liquor. We ain't gonna come to our house and do us a debt soon and be right as fucking rain. Doesn't work that way. Doesn't work. We know it's gonna be a monthly thing. They know they're gonna make loads and loads. So sorry to say this isn't a liquor island. The UK and every country, they're gonna both produce. It's not gonna be 
the, the UK is going to be in every country going. And as you know, Manchester isn't the only place in Great Britain. It's a big country. And they're going to both produce this. And Rivers having a knob for a fucking prime minister and having dickheads like Sir to tip, it's whether it will happen. But at the end of the day, because let's look, think about it, look at the fucking track and taste. Look how fucking long it's took on the two track and taste. Hell, you've got to go to fucking university just to figure out where the fuck it is half the time. But, again, hopefully it's going to take long. I know it's going to take long because they've got to both produce it. So it's not going to be like an ultimate wet dream. I wake up, some doctor knocks on my door. Excuse me, Peter, can I have your arm? Yes, sir. Hey, I'm told. Thank you. I told being realistic, it ain't going to happen like that. Now, I'm going to be stupid here, but being realistic, do you think it's going to happen like that? No. But I see when it happens and the vaccine fucking works, when it does get made, if it does happen and they're not just talking shit, we'll get out the fucking nightmare. And then it will tell people that Prime Ministers are full of shit. And they make pretty speeches. Else all your scientists will want to ram a lockdown and tell people that they can't go to one another's houses. Not to fucking, to go and fuck themselves. And we can get a bit back to normality and do the things we love to do. And hopefully it'll be an independent country again. Without you dickhead scientists and your government sticking their fucking horn in and giving a shit that is to save fucking lives. Here's one for your government. Save the economy. Save the fucking economy. Because I have shit people that they're planning on shutting down fucking salons. People wear a face seal, they wear a mask, you only think they're going to danger their own life for the cutting air, they're making people look prettier. And they're sorting down the pub. Understandable, you heard me say it, and even I like a beer, but it wasn't really rise. Restaurants are going to be safe, because they're going to keep the business going. Do you think they're going to have people who sit near one another? No, they're fucking not. So I don't want to tell on that one. But to shut them down, but I have to say they're not mentioned charity shops. But I'm sure they probably think of the idea because our government do like to go over the fucking top. But that's enough of depressing news. Here's one for you, Boris. Are you going about shutting all them? What about airports when people are passing the parcel and going aboard? Notice that wasn't mentioned. Moving on anyway, because I've had enough to be depressing. One of my friends who, you know, works in my favourite charity shop, that being Bernardo's. See, he's going to be getting a shoebox, which I'm going to show people. Bear with me. This shoebox isn't just a normal shoebox. It will be taking stuff for people who have got to self-isolate. They're the people I'm going to offend, because as you know, take man that's just going to hire up. This is a bit where I'm going to be a dick. And I want people to listen before I get love letters. People who are cocky, selfish, don't give a shit. And go out and see all the mates and abuse the trust. People who go out in dangs and don't give a shit. And make, that's the reason why we can't go to people's houses. I mean, not to be trusted. And people who go out dropping it, a bit like Liverpool, I forgot to say. People like that. I don't have sympathy for... Yeah, same with me, but I don't. But the innocent ones who didn't ask for it and sadly got it, they're the ones I feel for. I'll say that again. They're the ones I feel for. That's what I meant by two-sided story. So the ones who've got to self-isolate, we'll be giving this in Bernardo's, my friend, because I'm not going to mention any names, is going to make a cadet soon, where people will get diffs of things what they need, and it will be different to them, the ones who have got to self-isolate. And I dilute my friend for that in Bernardo's, and she's planning on doing that. So if anyone ever wants to do any contributions and anything for the people who have got to self-isolate, the innocent ones, not the selfish ones, then the end of the fucking day, please do so. It's for a good choice, and it's for charity. I mean, I've done my bit by having it done in my hair, because I'm happy now to have a slap head. I do it my friend. And as you know, I always called to Bernardo's, my favourite shop. It's near Penny Meadow. And it's not far from Cedar Street. Go there. We do do reasonable price and we do reasonable stuff. And that's for Mike Snotty Hancock doing people to buy home at 10. Here's one that's going to make you laugh. It was out 
well after 10, and I looked this up on the net, singing fucking Rocket Man, gonna make a dream for you, what was the Freddie Murdery song, Don't Stop Me Now, by the way, we're gonna have a good time, think you might snotty Hancock, and we saw it, and I didn't notice nobody was wearing a mask before 10, well, well over 10, you fucking hypocrite. Other than that, people, see you later.